It's supposed to be the economic hope of a nation, the one legal industry that Afghanistan's economy is meant to be built on, mining. Our preliminary information, which still needs to be investigated, is that the total value of Afghan mines and minerals is 3 trillion US dollars. But not only is the sector failing, it's fueling further conflict in the country. A new report shows that the Taliban is earning up to $20 million per year just from Afghanistan's ancient lapis lazuli mines. The deep blue stone has been used in jewellery and artefacts for thousands of years, including on Egyptian King Tutankhamun's death mask. It's mined primarily in Badakhshan province in Afghanistan's northeast, but much of it is controlled by local militia. It's very heartening that Afghanistan has a very bright future if the Afghan mineral reserves are properly uh, extracted. And we hope that this will be a, uh, a resource for Afghanistan, which will make Afghanistan self-sufficient. But the only group that's really benefiting is the Taliban, not the government. Mining is the Taliban's second biggest source of money after heroin. The problem is most of the country is in a state of war or upheaval, and according to watchdogs, corruption is rampant. Since the US invasion in 2001, the US has injected more than $100 billion into the country, including $488 million for extractive industries. But 15 years later, critics say the Afghan government still seems to be extracting more from foreign aid than from its own country. And militia control of this blue stone is denying Afghanistan much needed jobs and revenue. Soraya Leni, The Newsmakers.